Hi, my name is Jamie and I'm the recruitment advisor here at Lakeland College. If you're looking for a hands-on practical learning opportunity for your post-secondary education, Lakeland College can be the right fit for you. We have two campus locations, both with a variety of student-led and student-managed opportunities. Our Vermilion campus is the oldest of our two campuses and it houses six different faculties. Here, students can apply to be in programs in agricultural sciences, environmental sciences, fire and emergency services, human services, interior design, and trades and technology. First is our agricultural sciences faculty. Here, students have a variety of different programs in which they can pursue. We have one year certificate options in general agriculture, veterinary medical assistant, as well as a post bachelor certificate in commercial agricultural production. We have two year diploma options in animal health technology, agribusiness, animal science technology with four corresponding majors, crop technology, and agricultural sustainability. We also have a degree option, a very unique opportunity in Canada, which is our Bachelor of Agricultural Technology. With our veterinary medical assistant and our animal health technology programs, here students learn on our new animal health clinic. Um, it's great options for those students wanting to work with either small or large animals, um, as well as a variety of different farm and exotic pets as well. Our animal health technology is the only competitive program we offer at Lakeland College. So here students must have a combination of work experience as well as specific high school courses and minimum grade requirements to deem acceptance. The great part about our diploma majors as well is students can double dip. What that means is students can deplete, complete say a program in agribusiness. After they graduate, they can stay one more year at Lakeland and complete either a program in animal science technology or crop technology, and the vice versa applies. So here essentially students are staying three years at Lakeland and leaving um, with two diplomas in their pocket. It's a great way uh, to enter the industry and really get a foot um, in the career field as well. With our agricultural sciences, students learn on our 3000 acre student managed farm. It is the only student managed farm um, throughout all of Canada. It's a great opportunity for students, um, not only to learn that hands-on experience, um, as well to be as part of a team. Second year students uh, apply to be on our student managed farm team. They can apply to be on different roles, whether that be marketing, finance, um, general management, stewardship, things like that um, to make those real life decisions that they would see either on the farm or in the industry. They're also kind of understanding how to make those decisions based on students in the previous year, based on their current year, as well as making decisions um, for future students as well. Most oftentimes students, when they graduate and leave Lakeland, they either return back to their family farm and use what they've applied on our student managed farm there, or they've been able to network um, with different industry leaders as well um, and enter the industry in the career field they've chosen. Next is our environmental sciences. Um, here, this faculty is really great uh, if you like the outdoors and you're really passionate about the environment overall. We have a one-year certificate option in applied environmental sciences, two-year diploma options in applied environmental sciences, conservation and restoration ecology, environmental conservation and reclamation, as well as wildlife and fisheries conservation. And we also have a degree option at Lakeland which is our Bachelor's of Applied Sciences in Environmental Sciences with two corresponding majors. With our diploma options, the first year courses are all the same. Um, so students here take a variety of different courses dealing with soil science, water treatment, uh, plant and animal species identification. And then in the second year of their diploma, they really delve into the major that they've chosen and take more specialized courses that way. Students can also double dip with the diploma options as well. So if a student chooses to complete their wildlife and fisheries conservation diploma, they can stay one more year at Lakeland and choose another diploma major uh, to again, leave Lakeland in three years with two diplomas, really kind of adding to their tool belt um, to enter the industry. Our environmental students um, are really involved outside of the classroom as well. 
whether that's through lab work, field work, um, or different practicum placements. We also offer our students a field week. So they're outside the entire duration of the week in the fall. Um, we also tell students to treat it like a live interview. Oftentimes our instructors have really great connections within the industry as well. They bring in guest speakers. Uh, so students are able to network um, out in that field week as well, really kind of making those industry connections in the process. Uh, the great part too about um, the majority of the diploma majors is students can gain um, certifications or be a member of different student associations while taking those um, diploma programs. So it's also nice to have that on your resume um, as well going into the industry. Next is our fire and emergency services, a very unique program offered specifically at Lakeland. We have a certificate option in firefighter training. This 12 week program can be delivered either on site or we have a blended format that is 12 weeks of online coursework and then five weeks of on site training at uh, Lakeland. We have an accelerated diploma in emergency services technology. This is a 48 week diploma option where students can either um, choose to major in the medical stream or the fire stream. The fire stream students just expand on their firefighter knowledge that you would get in the certificate. They touch base on things like fire investigation, confined spaces um, and rescue apparatus. Whereas the medical stream, um, you do touch on the firefighter training as well. You have that background. And then uh, students have a three month practicum placement to work towards their designation of becoming a, a primary care paramedic. Uh, so great opportunities, regardless which stream you choose. And then we have a degree option as well. This is more for members who have been in the industry for quite some time, and they're just looking to take a back seat to the frontline work and take more of a managerial type role. Beyond the classroom, students learn on our state-of-the-art emergency training center. Uh, our firefighting and our ES2 student, EST students have great opportunities. Um, our instructors put them through different scenarios, just aside from the ones that you could see on a day-to-day -day basis, but also the ones that might pop up once or twice in a year. We make sure students are well aware and well prepared for anything they will see um, in the industry and out in the field as well. Uh, the great part is we allow students to kind of take leadership on their own. We give them the opportunity to become a battalion chief for the week so they understand them the roles and responsibilities uh, to leading their unit uh, both safely and effectively. It's great too with our EST students um, we touch base as well, also on the mental health component. Um, both of these um, industries and career fields can be very taxing uh, to its members. So we make sure we touch base on that component um, as well as the physical and the fitness component as well. Next is our human services faculty. This is certainly the area of study. Um, if you love working with people, you like working with uh, children from a variety of different ages, up until infancy, um, young adults, and even their families. We have one year certificate options in American Sign Language and Deaf Culture Studies, Early Learning and Child Care, and Educational Assistant, two year diploma options in Early Learning and Child Care and Child and Youth Care. And we have two post credential certificates um, offered online if that's something you would be interested in um, after you graduate from Lakeland. The nice part is with human services is there's a lot of course overlap. Um, so a lot of times, even if you're in the child and youth care program, you'll have classes that have students in the early learning and child care or the educational assistant program as well. So most times students, when they do graduate, um, they feel they'd wanna add something else to their tool belt in the human services field. They come back, they usually complete um, one of our certificate programs and make them that much more employable in that sense. As well too, um, students here are working with a variety of different age groups and special populations. So if you know you like to work with infants and toddlers, early learning and childcare might be best suited for you. If you're a person that works well with teenagers, young adults and their families, child and youth care or educational assistant might be something up your alley. The great part about being a human services student um, is recognizing that we give our students practicum placements each semester, regardless which program they're in. 
Um, so you'll either get two or four practicum placements based on the certificate or diploma program you've applied to be in. Uh, the department does a really good job of putting students in the best practicum placement possible. They wanna make sure um, you like to work with the population that you're with, really kind of find your niche um, in the industry as well. Most oftentimes students do get hired on by their practicum placement after they graduate. Uh, so it's a great opportunity for students to make those industry connections and network um, as well as being able to provide um, some much needed service hours while they're in their program and then eventually do get paid uh, for their work um, after they graduate. Next is our interior design department. Here students um, can major in, in our interior design technology diploma. Um, it's run over the course of two years. It's a very unique program. Most oftentimes students have to go elsewhere or move to a very large city to take a program, um, but we offer it right here in Vermilion, which is great. Students also are a part of different student competitions. Um, in those competitions, um, not only do they gain kind of that competitive edge and that real world experience, if they do place um, very high in those competitions, they can get some scholarship money as well. So a great opportunity um, to budget and save financially. Our interior design department, um, we are recognized as a student chapter through the National Kitchen and Bath Association, the NKBA. We are also recognized through the DDA, um, which is the Decorators and Designers Association of Canada as well. Great part about being an interior design student is you have access to a 24 seven on-campus interior design studio. So if you're the student um, that gets an idea at three in the morning, you can roll out of bed, come to campus um, and sort of bring that idea to life, which is great. You also don't necessarily need to be the most creative person in this program in order to succeed. Our instructors um, really make sure students get the success and the skills that they need, whether um, they start with hands-on drawing and sketches, they kind of work their way up to choosing different textiles, understanding certain patterns, um, as well as moving up towards 3D models, as well as using different software options um, that could be available to them in the industry. We also give our students different opportunities to network through our field trips, whether that be in Calgary or Toronto. Uh, they know that the design world is ever changing. Um, so they really wanna make sure our students understand what's happening in the industry, what's cool, what's not cool um, to best prepare them for when they graduate. Lastly is our trades and technology. Um, here at Lakeland, we have two different options for students. Our pre-employment option is offered directly through Lakeland. Um, so you would apply as regular um, and you can apply either to be in our electrician or a welding program, or we have an apprenticeship program. Um, here first, students must find a suitable employer that is willing to hire them on as an apprentice. And then they must register with the Alberta Industry and Trades Boards um, as an apprenticeship student. And then they would come to Lakeland for their respective period in their trade. With our apprenticeship trades, we offer electrician, welding, automotive service tech, heavy equipment tech, parts tech, and carpentry. Um, so a bunch of different options for students. It's a really great um, way to get into the field very early on in your career. Essentially, um, we describe trades as earning while you learn. It is a cheaper option for students. Um, so there's not a lot of student loans um, or debt associated with these trades. So it's a really great way um, to pay back what you've given into the program um, and enter the workforce right off the bat. Beyond the classroom, um, students learn through our trade center shops. Uh, so we have different shops um, and hands-on learning opportunities for all of our pre-employment and our apprenticeship programs. We are also recognized by Alberta Apprenticeship Industry Training Board as one of the top apprentices in Alberta. We also allow our students, um, if they wish, to get a little bit more competitive edge. We've had our students compete in Skills Canada, either provincially and nationally, um, and we've won several medals across both of those competitions. So if it's something you're interested in, um, you wanna add something to your resume, uh, it's a great opportunity for students to get that hands-on practical experience that they need to enter the workforce. The great part too, um, with trades at Lakeland, Essentially, it is a 20-80 split. 
meaning 20% of the time you were at Lakeland, you were understanding the theory and the practical side of what your trade entails. And then the 80%, um, either you were on your practicum placement if you're a pre-employment student, or you're at your apprentice employer um, putting in those needed hours as an apprenticeship student uh, and then challenging your period exam. Next is our Lutminster campus. This is the newer of our two campuses. It houses four different faculties. Here, students can apply to be in programs in business, energy, health and wellness, or university transfer. Our business program um, is a really great area of study if you're not quite sure what you wanna get into um, right off the bat while entering college. We have one year certificate options in accounting technician, as well as administrative professional. We have two year uh, diploma majors in accounting, general business, real estate appraisal and assessment, and small business and entrepreneurship. We also have two degree options that are offered through our agreement through Athabasca University. Um, if it's something you wish to pursue, students can stay at Lakeland, but take courses through Athabasca and complete um, either their bachelor's of commerce or management um, and obtain that degree. We also have a great agreement with the Edwards School of Business at the University of Saskatchewan. So if it is something you're interested in furthering your education, um, the business faculty is really great uh, for giving our students those opportunities. Most oftentimes, um, everyone thinks business students just stay in the classroom. It's not the case here at Lakeland. We provide our students with a bunch of different off-campus um, and community activities to really hone their business skills and be ready for the workforce whether that's putting on free tax clinics um, throughout the community, being a part of speakers corners, um, running our different business clubs on our campus, um, or just kind of being a part um, and volunteering throughout the community as well. We also have the opportunity for students, if they wish to complete a co-op internship, if you're in a diploma major, um, this paid internship lasts between your first and second year um, of your major. So it's a great opportunity to get some actual work experience on your resume, get some money in your pocket, um, hopefully pay off a little bit of those second year student debts um, and really kind of gain uh, some experience in the industry based on where you'd like to end up. Next is our energy department. Um, at Lakeland College, we deal specifically with power engineering um, and its relative fields. So we have one year certificate options in heavy oil operations technician which is our HOOT program and sustainable energy. We have two-year diploma options in heavy oil power engineering, which is our HOPE program, sustainable energy technology, as well as petroleum management. With our HOOT and our HOPE programs, students are working um, towards their fourth and third class power engineering certification um, in Alberta, respectively. With their sustainable energy programs, um, it's more suited towards the renewable resource um, sector in that sense. And our petroleum management diploma um, is suited for more um, older individuals in the industry that again, just wanna expand into that managerial role um, and really make sure they're cemented in the industry. Lloydminster well, students um, in our energy programs learn in our on-campus Synovus Energy Lab. So it's great for our students. Um, we have a variety of different labs that they're a part of. Um, we have classrooms within the Synovius lab as well. So transitioning from the classroom to the lab is as simple as two to three steps. It's great too um, for our students that need those valuable STEAM time hours to gain their certifications um, in their respective uh, class engineering certifications. Uh, it's great because students aren't reaching out to employers in order to get those much needed hours. They can fill those hours right on campus as well. We also have really good connections, um, not only in the heavy oil and gas industry, um, just because of where the Lloydminster campus is located, but we have had students complete their practicum placements in other areas um, throughout different provinces in Western Canada, whether that be at hospitals, um, correctional facilities, different areas, essentially where there's any sort of boiler running system, you can often find a power engineering student there. Next is our health and wellness department. Uh, we have one year certificate options for students. Here we have our esthetician and our clinical esthetician programs. 
These are dealing with the aesthetics um, of kind of the beauty industry. So everything from manicures, pedicures, um, waxing, facials, and hot stone massages. The clinical esthetician just adds seven weeks on top of your certificate, and that deals more within the dermatology setting. So things like microdermablation, um, needling, and chemical peels. Hairstyling, a very cut and dry certificate. Uh, it's great for students that want to learn more about cutting, styling, coloring, um, different hair. Uh, students start working on mannequins and then progress to working with real world clients as well. And then our healthcare care aid option is great for students that want a little bit more flexibility. We offer this um, where students take their coursework online during the weekdays and then Friday, Saturday, Sunday. They come to our Lloydminster campus um, and work through their modules and labs and do their exams to progress through the program in that way. There's also a practicum placement um, with the healthcare aid certificate. Uh, so again, if students need, want to work with a specific population, whether that's in long-term care, acute care, hospice care, we give those opportunities to students as well. The great part about being a health and wellness student um, is you're able to operate and manage our on-campus salon and spa based on which program you've chosen. So you're not only building your clientele, understanding what a client needs and wants are, but you're understanding the business side of things, um, how to operate a clinic safely and effectively. If that's something you wish to do later down the line, Lakeland College really um, gives that experience to our students if that's something they wish to pursue. Even if you're not a health and wellness student on campus, um, students do get discounted rates. So it's pretty much a two for one outlook. You can treat yourself as a student to a discounted manicure, a pedicure, um, a quick haircut, and you're also giving much needed hours to our esthetician as well as our hairstyling students in order for them to graduate. Lastly is our university transfer program. We have a variety of different programs available to students. Um, to sort of start their university career at Lakeland. Usually students stay one to two years based on where they would like to transfer to in the long run. Um, usually students transfer to the University of Alberta or Saskatchewan, but we do have a variety of different transfer agreements with certain programs um, with, a, with schools throughout Western Canada. Students also have, the, um, have an academic advisor that helps them every step of the way once they're accepted, um, your academic advisor is there to help you build your schedule, pick your classes, uh, make sure you're on track to um, apply for admission given the university you'd like to transfer to. We also mentioned that um, completing your university transfer courses at Lakeland does not always guarantee, guarantee your acceptance into another university. Um, different universities have different admission and program requirements uh, to get accepted. So it's something also to take into consideration when applying. We have different program routes. Um, so students can start uh, with their bachelor's of arts, commerce, education, general studies, science, or social work. As well as we also have some pre-medical designations that students can focus on either in dental hygiene, dentistry, medical lab science, nursing, nutrition, pharmacy, and veterinary medicine. Our university transfer students um, learn not only in the classroom, whether that's through their small class sizes and one-on-one -on -one personal instruction, but also uh, through different labs on campus, as well um, as different shadowing and volunteering opportunities throughout the community. So you could be uh, shadowing a specific grade in elementary, middle, or high school if you're focusing um, on a bachelor's of education. If you're dealing with a bachelor's of science or a pre-medical designation, we have state-of-the-art lab facilities that um, are instructed by actual lab technicians uh, and students are working with state-of-the-art equipment as well uh, to best prepare them when they do go and transfer to another university. Uh, they already know how to run and operate the equipment as well. So next I'm gonna talk a little bit about Lakeland life. Uh, it's great that you guys have considered Lakeland as one of your post-secondary options, but we want to make sure um, you get outside the classroom a little bit and do some fun extracurricular activities as well. We have different clubs, um, both on our Vermilion and our Lloydminster campus. 
Students don't necessarily have to be in a specific program to be a part um, of a club. You can be in any club you wish, uh, so it's great. There's always a bunch of field trips going on within the clubs. Um, the clubs put on different events throughout both of our campuses as well. We have peer tutoring available um, to students. Again, this is another great two for one opportunity. If you are a student that is doing great academically in a class um, and you'd like to get paid, you can tutor a, um, a student as well. Or on the flip side of that, if you're struggling in a class, you get free hours of peer, uh, of peer tutoring offered to you as well. So it's great if you already know all the material, it's good review, or if you're struggling and really kind of want to hone in on one specific concept um, to really nail it down, that's an option as well. We also have different support services, um, such as our Indigenous support services. Um, I've touched based on academic advising through different programs, as well as a variety of health and wellness services um, offered that are all free while you're a student at Lakeland. As well as we have our Student Employment Center. This is great for students, um, not only current students, but alumni as well. Um, there's different opportunities to work um, at Lakeland as a student, or if you're looking for part-time work or summer student positions, our Student Employment Center is really great at um, giving our students those opportunities. Living at Lakeland can certainly be your home away from home. We have different living arrangements, both on our Vermilion and our Lloydminster campus. Our Vermilion campus has either dorms or townhouses with single or double room occupancy. Our Lloydminster campus has spin wheels and townhouses, um, all have single room occupancy as well. With your residence fees, there's a bunch of amenities included. So students get things like free parking, free Wi-Fi, free laundry, and free cable. Uh, the great part is about living in residence uh, is just kind of that sense of community that you get. Um, it's a very fun, friendly atmosphere and environment to be a part on. There's always something going on each week, uh, whether that's dorm wars or some sort of activity that your residence assistant is putting on. Uh, we really try to make sure you do feel at home while you're at Lakeland. Next is our financial aid department. Um, in student services, you'll find our financial aid department that can answer any questions you have regarding government student loans, scholarships, bursaries, or external awards that we do offer to our students. We offer an academic excellence entrance scholarship. So these um, scholarships are based solely on your grade 11 average marks. So the great part is um, if you're coming to Lakeland, and you plan to apply to university transfer, interior design technology, environmental sciences, or business, um, you are automatically qualified for this scholarship based on your uh, grade 11 marks. The nice part too with being at Lakeland, um, since it is such a small college, usually um, we cap out at about 2,200 students. There's a lot of money going back to our students in terms of scholarships, awards, and bursaries. Uh, you can see last year we gave over just $1.3 million uh, back to our students. So we tell students, um, you know, financial burden can be a very uh, difficult issue and everybody has their own individual budgeting needs. So please make sure you apply to every single scholarship. You don't have to be in a certain program to apply to that scholarship. Even if you tick a couple of boxes on the application, um, you don't know if you're the only student that applied they might still have to apply, um, give that money away anyways. So it's always great applying to as many scholarships as you can and get that extra money in your pocket. Lastly, um, if you guys have a specific question about any program or you just wanna know more about Lakeland College in general, you can contact me below. You can either contact me through my email, my office number, or you can text me on my cell number. Thanks for listening.